Once upon a time in the year 1882, a beautiful daughter, Amali Emmy, was born to Max and Ida Amali Nather in a land far, far away, Alani, Germany. The child was a Jewish princess of the family with three brothers, Alfred, Fritz, and Gustav. Within Alanian, her father was a mathematician who worked at the nearby institution. Emmy grew up inspired by her father's work, but as a woman, she knew she should follow another path. She spent her time in school studying languages and upon graduation earned the certificate to teach French and English. But something was just not right. Emmy longed for something more, and at the age of 18, decided to take classes at the University of Alanyan. Emmy was reintroduced to math, inspired by Isaac Newton, Ivas Kilas, and more. But again, as a woman, learning math was frowned upon. The university refused to let Emmy take mathematics classes, but granted her permission to audit classes. She sat in on classes for two years and then took the exam that would permit her to be a doctoral student in mathematics. Finally, Emmy passed the exam and was a student in good standing at the university. After five more years of study, she was granted the second degree to a woman in the fields of mathematics. After earning her degree, Emmy worked with her father in 1908 at the Mathematics Institution in Alanyan. Again, Emmy was shunned for being a woman in the mathematics field. Felix Klein and David Helbert were working on furthering defining one of Einstein's theories at the University of Göttingen. They felt that Emmy Nother's expertise could help them in their work. They asked her to come and join them, but since there were no women in the faculty, Nother was unsure if she would be welcome. Many faculty did not want her there, but in the end, she came. She worked hard and soon was given a job as a lecturer. Even though she still was not paid for her efforts, for the first time, Nother was teaching under her own name. For 14 years, she went as an unpaid lecturer at the universities of Arlington and Göttingen. But over the time at the University of Göttingen, Emmy accumulated a small following of students known as the Nothers Boys. These students traveled from as far as Russia to study with her. This following is what earned Emmy a small salary for her work. She had a thorough ability to clasp abstract thoughts, making her an accomplished university professor and creative mathematical writer. Leading mathematics before her time, she developed theories in theoretical physics and abstract algebra. Rings, fields, and algebra became her forte. In physics, Nother's theorem explains the connection between symmetry and conservation laws. Just as things were looking bright for the Jewish female professor, the Nazis began overpowering Germany in the 1930s. Emmy was then banned from teaching at her university. The Nother family began to disperse from Germany, and in 1933, Emmy escaped to America and took a position at the Brian Meyer College in Pennsylvania. Teaching at a women's college was very different for Nother. For the first time, she had colleagues that were women. Anna Pell Wheeler, another woman mathematician, was the head of the department at Brian Meyer and became a great friend to Nother. Wheeler understood about how Emmy had to struggle to have a career in mathematics in Germany and about being uprooted from her homeland. By 1935, Emmy had settled into her new home. In April, doctors had discovered a tumor in ovarian cyst in Emmy's pelvis. An operation was scheduled to remove the cyst and all went well. However, Days after her surgery, Emmy struck ill and unconscious, leading to her death. Her death came to a shock from all over the world, as she was only informing a small group of friends about her surgery. Albert Einstein wrote weeks later, Emmy Nother was the most significant creative mathematical genius 
thus far produced since higher education of women began.